Hi there friends and welcome to episode 3 of my Sea Ice Challenge. I'm Icon and today we will try to survive yet another episode out here, or at least die trying. So, we're first up gonna build that smelter. I was pondering about whether or not in the last episode and the verdict was quite clear for me. It's the only way of acquiring new steel, so we need it. So let's just configure that to smelt down items that we don't need anymore. There we go. And assign Archer to do so right away. She's a little bit angry now that because of uh, well, lots of things and a mental breakdown from her side is quite imminent. We have to hope that she doesn't go for a breakdown, which is lethal. So a second heater was the first thing that I wanted to install from the leftover steel because I realized in the last episode that we didn't had any chance whatsoever to um, to survive in this shack during the winter times. The temperatures were plunging way too low and therefore I'm quite happy to be there now with a second heater. So our raider is attacking immediately, smart guy, and he's also carrying a few scraps of pemmican on him. That's even better. So. Let's uh, give Archer a little bit of a snack before she starts to fight. And let's just hope and pray that we're going to land a few bullets before this uh, mechanic gets close to us. Even though, I gotta say, he has zero melee, so with some luck we can't even disengage. Alright, this is looking good. We already got a few shots on him. Yeah. This is one. This is already one. Can't almost can't move anymore, so. There we go. Alright. Now let's uh, build a few more graves. And bury those guys. Because that makes Archer a lot happier to not see dead people all the time. And, okay, lucky us, Archer decided to tantrum. Let's just hope she doesn't destroy anything we need for survival. Mm. It's basically just the components which are a big no-no. Well, the human leather I don't really care about, honestly. Okay. So that's that. Good job, Archer. You're not only cathartic now, you also didn't destroy anything too important. Alright. And you also received a snack of pemmican. Some real food. Must have tasted real good. If I imagine her circumstances, that pemmican must have been really delicious. All right, 21 steel, that's all we got. The limestone club ain't, help, ain't helping either. But, well, we got three carcasses to feast on, which is uh, not the worst. I mean, at least it's food. And let's check. Let's go for destruction of tainted apparel here at the uh, smelter. To... Get rid of all the items I won't be wearing anymore. Okay. Now, the situation is not really good, but it's also not really bad either. The most unpleasant thing right now is that we have to open one of those graves and, well... You know what we gotta do. There we go. Oh, there's a cloth t-shirt. I realized lately that Archer didn't have any t-shirt and her insulation is not, wasn't as high as it could be. So minus 40 degree insulation is a lot better. And uh, we should be standing a little bit more of a chance out there. I mean, slower accumulation of hypothermia debuffs is always a good thing. Oh, and also let's flick off the switch from the uh, smelter. We really don't need that smelter running all the time. Like, for sure not. 
Okay then. Now, let's hope we'll survive one more time. Now at this point we're down to luck. We're down completely to luck. It's all about the events we roll towards us or not. And, well... If the events don't uh, yield any food, we're pretty much done for. And even if they do, it's still gonna be a race against the mental breakdowns here at this point. Alright. Sadly, she destroyed the, uh, the stack of human leather there. And therefore, well, I wanted to build a comfy chair out of that. I know it's a little bit, it sounds a little bit off, but, you know, survival. And it's more comfy than the stool. And comfort is good. But I guess Archer was against my idea to begin with. Totally relatable, if you ask me. Okay. Let's just hope we uh, receive one or two nice events that ensure our survival here in, a, in, in some way. Because that's probably one of the most frustrating factors about sea ice. There are a few things which are too, completely out of your own control as a player. You can't change a few things at all. Not at all. There's, there's just a few things which are... For example, I can't control what kind of events I get rolled now towards me. It could be a series like of a, a Aurora and a Psychic Soothe and uh, just like that, seemingly positive events are going to kill me. This though is a really good one. So there's not only a person rushing towards me, guy named Helvig, but also this guy named Helvig has trouble on his tail, so we're even receiving two bodies to work with. It's really good. So, poor Helvig ain't really that healthy, but, you know, that was never his job to begin with. So, and Jen even has a weapon which we can smelt her. Things are, are getting better and better. So that uh, poor Helvig person will be just uh, chilling out here and, you know, we don't need to do anything here. Alright, let's uh, check out Jen. Jen is really well insulated. Alpaca wool parka seems to be good. Or the alpaca wool tribal wear. I wonder. Anywho. Let's check out the situation here. So she's already at minor hypothermia, but it's not really enough to um, warrant a easy fight here. All right, let's uh, draft Archer. Let's uh, Jen carrying <gasps> a packaged survival meal. Sorry, just had to do that. All right. Archer has quite good cover here. Oh, but she's not hitting a thing here. Dang. So let's see how this plays out. I mean, the temperatures are working for me. So I really don't want to lose my wind turbine here. So I'll take it like that. All right, we took a we we got a hit on her, and my turbine just needs a one stray bullet, and we're instantaneously dead. Okay, well, okay. We can still survive. We can still survive. There's still power on the uh, on the battery, and it should be sufficient to to survive that. First, we need to get rid of that gunner here. All right, let's fall back again.
All right. Let's do this one more time. There we go. Okay. So first things first, she has to patch up herself. And then we need to turn on the uh, smelter. And just pray to, pray to God that we're able to smelter enough stuff before the battery runs out. Wait a sec, we're, uh, we're dead anyways. We don't have enough steel here, okay. So, well, I can't smelter that thing. Let's see. It's going to yield enough. So 79, well, I would need to dismantle something. Let's try what happens if we deconstruct these items here. So is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. So wind turbine, we go. Here we go. Let's see. None of these items were were really necessary for survival, you know. All right. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, we did it. It was uh, not really cool, especially since we lost the turbine. And I had to dis dismantle my, my research table, so we're now not able to research anymore. But at the same time, it's better than dying, isn't it? I mean, sure. All right. And Archer is now on, in Berserk Rage. This is really bad. So it's now going to be very, very random if she's going to survive or not. If Archer is smart enough not to leave her hut during her Berserk Rage, she's going to survive. If she's going to stay outside for too long, she's going to die. That's a very simple thing. Right now, she seems to be smart enough to seek shelter of the, uh, of the shack from time to time. But yeah. Let's see, come on, get on in. But for some odd reason, the power supply is also uh, trolling me quite hard now. But yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little bit of a uh, frostbite on the pinky. Okay, let's see how long she's uh, deciding to berserk on me. I mean, at some point, berserking must wear off, but uh, how long it'll take, I have no clue. Okay, she's uh, back to normal. Grats. Still needs to butcher up something. But... At least... She didn't kill herself in the cold. I mean, good job, Archer. I'm proud of you. It's a wonderful life out here, don't you agree? Now... Good old Helvig. Really a helpful person. And even though I'm cathartic, she's already uh, close to her next uh, extreme breakdown, so... Or she's on a really high breakdown risk here. Well... Let's open the next bucket. Ooh. She's already on that high of a hypothermia level? Dang. Alright. So I'll decide to uh, just uh, lock her in for now. Until something better happens. I mean, sure, she's just idling around, but that's still better than trying to kill yourself outside there, you know? It's really bad that I had to dismantle the research table, but I really didn't know any other way of saving myself because we can handle 
with it, we can handle the situation without a lot of things, but not without power. Oh, speaking about which, there's really no reason for the for the smelter to be online all the time. Not at all. I mean, I could just uh, bring my time or use my time with shooting at things or such, but you know. For now, I'm quite happy with the status quo, gotta say. Things aren't bad right now. Just need to get yet another beneficial event down. That would be really good. Gotta say, Helvik and the mercenary gunner were really, really beneficial for us. We need something like that again. We definitely need something like that again. Alright. Archer's only at minor break risk at this point, so things could be even worse. Somewhat impressive? This room is somewhat impressive, are you kidding me? Somewhat rich. Okay. I got no clue. Alright. There we go. Well, let's hope that something will happen at this point, which will end our uh, waiting here, because that's not good. It's really not good right now. We're not getting anywhere with that. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Anakol, herder. And even comes with a little uh, supply of pemmican. And that fool is uh, yet again willing to freeze to death. Awesome. I like those enemies the most. Psychic Sooth, okay. Very good. Very, very good. All right. There we go. Let's hope she doesn't really... Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's really spooky to uh, be out there that long. I know that there's still resources out there, but neither the pemmican nor the knife will go bad that quickly. And the raider was the largest amount of uh, food to haul back home. Alright, so we're now going to take the risk here. I want that knife too. It's just a few scraps of steel, but it's still steel, you know. Paid forest weather. Yo, Archer, how's your hypothermia? No chance. That's really the thing where you've got to be careful about what your uh, people do. So... That's sadly so useless. Alright, let's send her one more time. Okay then. We're really down to a low amount of food. But at the same time, I feel like it could be worse. I mean, we got even a little bit of real food. And, uh, okay, here goes another tantrum. Let's see. Please don't destroy anything vital. And we got another Wanderer join event. Which is... Uh, and she even comes with a couple of simple meals. Uh, okay. Let's just hope we don't... Please, Archer, don't. Okay, Archer is no longer having a tantrum. That's good. See ya, Quinn. 
Thanks for your sacrifice. Like, seriously. Simple meals. We got food for several days now. And a uh, person to bury again. Okay. There we go. Let's flick on the power. Royal Ascent. Yeah, well, that's not really a quest to do for now. Okay, we're down to 28 steel at this point. I wonder how these, uh, why these uh, damage thingies come up from time to time. Okay, so that's uh, that's quite something, though. Don't you agree? Okay. I could bring up a new um, science table now with that uh, amount of steel. I consider it for some reason. But I'm going, going to delay that decision for now. Because honestly, I don't really see that as a very necessary thing. It's way more necessary for Archer now to survive as long as possible until she's able to put up the comms console and the trade beacon. These 160 steel are, in my opinion, the most important ones now. Because having access to a little bit of trade would change everything. I mean, we could produce our own items to sell them. We could sell off parts of that insane amount of com uh, of this insane component stack here. There are, there are options. There are really options. So therefore, you know. Okay. The Psychic Soothe, soothe event really um, comes in handy at this point. We're now... Uh, we now used up all the ni nice uh, pieces of simple meals. And the Alobo Coalition is raiding us one more time. Sadly, that fool doesn't come with a um, with food on him, but you know, in this environment, it's okay. He is the food. All right, Azro. I'll let Azro freeze a little bit before I even go outside there. He's a immediate attacker, so he's smarter than the regular schlob. So. It's really important now that I will. I want to go outside only as soon as Azro starts to come close to the range of my gunfire. That's a simple reason because I want to kite that guy if necessary. Because I have to count in that there is a chance that I won't be even hitting Azro. And if that can, that happens, I really need to rely on Archer's warmth. You know, the hypothermia is a pretty nasty disadvantage. He loses manipulation and consciousness. The consciousness loss results in a loss of movement speed and therefore I'm faster than him. Let's see. Yeah, only ever so slightly though. All right. Don't want to pull that guy too far away from my, uh, from my base. Let's see, one more salvo. Bam. Nice! Okay, good stuff. Whew. Well done, Archer, well done. We might be surviving here after all. Okay. Now, sadly, this Osro guy didn't feature any um, smeltable gear, but nevertheless, he brought us food. And yeah, you know, I'm two bodies ahead. This will be enough for like one and a half days at least. We're in a pretty, pretty stable spot right now, gotta say. The only issue is the mental state of Archer, but actually as long as she's uh, inside here, 
she's not feeling that horrible, you know? So, let's move that stool and produce ourselves a piece of armchair. Yeah, I know, it's uh, ethically... Uh, It's ethically not that correct, but you know, it is pretty good for her um, state of mind. Because the richdom of a room definitely does make a change. And since there's not really anything in here which I could build anything out of, you know, an armchair is just, uh, just comfy. Just never think about what is what it's been made of, and you'll be just fine. Alrighty, so we have to dig out another one, I guess. Well, okay, the stockpiles are still sufficient there a little bit. Leave the dusty. Oh, hi there. Of course you can join me and. Uh, help me a little bit with my colony. You know what, Lee? The best help you can do is just standing outside there. Just there, yeah. You're standing perfectly. That's all the help we need. Thanks, Lee. Just hold on out a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, you're doing fine. Now you're almost there. I've heard that uh, freezing to death is a very gentle and uh, friendly death. So at some point it even it's even said that you're uh, feeling very warm. Well, I don't know. If that's really the case, but well, I feel I gotta say I, I really do feel a little bit bad. I have some sort of a guilty conscience here, okay? Just in case you're wondering if that uh, doesn't do anything to me anymore. But you know, survival is harsh. Oh, we can smelt down a club there. Nice. That's Lee. Such a helpful person. To the last bit. Even even brought us a club which we could smelt. That's uh, that's uh... Whew. okay. So Archer is now in a daze. Let's just hope she doesn't kill herself while doing this. So just like with a berserk event, it's all about if she decides to leave the hut or not. Let's just hope she doesn't. Quest expires. Ah, paid for us weather. Oh, this is putting me so much on edge. I don't know if the Forbidden Door is actually being respected by her in that state of mind or not. It would be quite helpful to know, but... If she's going to survive that, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Because I'd be so relieved if so. I mean, we're still not in a stable and clear situation, but two-thirds of winter are past us then and you know winter on the the first winter on the sea ice is really really brutal i hope we'll be better prepared for the second winter but i can't really tell okay there's she's still broken mental breakdown come on archer get over it get over it it's just for survival you don't have to feel that guilty come on Archer, you can do it. We all believe in you. Well, it seems like she's not willing to leave the room for now, and there's still enough food in the room to get her away from starvation. Okay. Okay, so that's enough for today's episode. I thank you so much for watching. It has been quite a tense tour. What we're still around here, two graves filled, one uh, unit, enough food to last that day, so I'd say... The end of winter is almost safe. Let's just hope it'll stay like that. Leave me a comment down below. Leave a like on that video to make it more visible. Or leave a subscription on my channel if you like Grimworld content in general. You will love a lot of the things I do there. Maybe you'll check out the other stuff too. Whatever might be the case, thank you so much for your time. And see you soon. Bye-bye.